Welcome to this brand new training video coming to you from Clickbank Success Channel. In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to get buyer traffic to your Clickbank affiliate links within 24 hours and make your first sale within 24 hours. Now, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time on my YouTube channel, then please smash the red subscribe button, click the notification bell and select all the boxes so you get notified whenever I come up with a brand new training video. Add this video to your favorites. If you love my videos, give me a thumbs up. It will be appreciated. My channel is all about ClickBank, affiliate marketing, promoting ClickBank offers, making money online, working from home, traffic generation, lead generation, how to build successful internet marketing funnels that will build your and build and grow your business so if you're related to any of these topics then please smash the red subscribe button and click the icon bell so you get notified whenever i come up with a brand new training video if you have any questions just leave a comment so let's dive into this video normally what people do is they will come to clickbank they will go to the marketplace they will go to uh, onto the left hand side choose a product and once they get their hop link, they don't know how to drive traffic. And this is one of the biggest reasons why 99% people fail on uh, in affiliate marketing is because they don't know how to drive traffic. When they don't know how to drive traffic, they're desperate to make that quick buck. So they go out there and start spamming all the social media and they start posting their links all over the place. So what, has, what happens is social media starts to suspend all the affiliate links. Okay, this is a wrong way to do business. What you need to do is whichever product you're going to promote, you need to build a landing page around that product. A landing page looks something like this. So the money is in the list. You probably heard that phrase already. The money is in the list. The money is in the list. Email marketing, ethical email mar marketing, okay? Now you could build a landing page like this for free. You could also use free tools. You could also hire someone to do this. If you have HTML skills yourself, you could do it yourself as well. It's very easy. Or you could use paid tools as well. I use a tool called ClickFunnels. You could use any tool for this purpose, okay? So you need a landing page. Second you need is an autoresponder account. This is where all your email lists or all your email subscribers are going to be stored. So you could see here, I have over 52,000 people who entered their email into a similar page like this, saying that they are interested in learning how to make money online. Now, if I want to promote any product, I just have to write a quick five minute email, blast that email out, and those 52,000 people are going to receive that email. And obviously, I'm going to get thousands and thousands of clicks. And also, if it's a good product, I will also make potential sales. So the money is in the list. So before you drive any kind of traffic, you need to set all this up and you need to have email follow-ups in your case you might see you might not see the follow-up series you will see campaigns okay so you need to set up these email follow-ups these are email follow-up that will go on your behalf on completely autopilot one email per, per day promoting different affiliate offers from clickbank warrior plus jvzoo and any other website so once you have this in place then you are ready to drive traffic now i have a complete video on my youtube channel talking all about this how to set this up where to get the email follow-ups from, how to build your landing page, etc. Make sure you watch my other videos. Okay, I will have it on this video on the uh, on the on your right top corner as well. It will pop up. Just if you click on that later on, you will see it. Okay, if you click on that, you will able to watch the complete video on that that teaches how to create these landing pages and email follow-ups okay so let's dive into the traffic part which how do you drive traffic how can you drive traffic to a page like this where you could build a list of subscribers and start making sales there are so many traffic sources out there you the best traffic source is called pay-per-click marketing driving traffic using google bing etc but the problem is that if you're a beginner you don't have any experience you don't have any technical skills you don't know how to drive traffic so we're going to talk about a traffic source where you don't not need any skills you don't need any experience you just pay the money and the traffic starts rushing straight to your lead magnet page you start building an instant list and potentially you start making money okay and the traffic source is one of the network calls udemy i'm going to show you step by step step by step how to drive traffic using udemy okay i'm going to find show you how to find the right buyers right people so you could start getting quality traffic within 24 hours and start making sales within 24 hours okay and by the way in the description box below this video you're going to find another traffic source as well which is a premium traffic source that you could use to promote clickbank offers in the internet marketing niche 
and also in the weight loss niche. A lot of people have been asking, is there a way we could do, we could drive traffic in the weight loss niche and build a list? And the answer is yes. The premium email traffic source is going to be posted in the description box below this video. Make sure you check it out after you finish watching the video, okay? So how do you use this Udemy solo ad? So first of all, what you want to do is once you have joined Udemy, you could join Udemy through the link in the description, in through my link in the description box below this video, or you could just go straight to udemy.com. But if you go straight to udemy.com, you will not get a personal network message. But if you join through the link in the description box, you're going to get a personal network message for me from me. And I also help people answer your questions. So you could message me, you could see here, these are all the people who have been messaging me, asking me questions, and I'm always answering the questions, helping them out. So if you join through the link in the description box, you could message me, you can ask me any questions, okay? So let's just go back. Once you have joined Udemy, what you want to do is you want to go to the find sellers, and you're going to find all these people down here. So let's just go for this person. This guy looks like a newbie to me. So we're going to go to this person. And the first thing you want to look for is this part here, the buyer percentage. The higher the number, the better. Anything above 15%. If you just hover your mouse, it tells you exactly what it means, okay? And you can see repeated buyer 15%. But more than that, what we want to look for is we want to look for this, okay? So we could see the first person who got a sale just yesterday, Okay, we're going to scroll down and we could see this person got a sale on 24 Feb. Okay, and then we're going to click on show more rating and we're going to find five sellers in the last 30 days, five sales in the last 30 days. Okay, so we could see that one, two, three, four and five okay five people got a sale in the last 30 days so this guy is matching our criteria that is the criteria you want to see for anyone who says that they have generated a sale using his traffic in the last 30 days okay so if it's good what you want to do is you want to buy traffic from this person okay so you want to come back here you just want to go back and you want to buy traffic. So we'll always you want to start off with minimum 300 visitors. You want to select only top tier. That means UK, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, English speaking countries. You also want to select prime filter, making sure that you're getting quality traffic. OK, and remember, whenever you promote a ClickBank offer, make sure your offer is mobile friendly. This is one of the biggest mistake people are making. They are just selecting the product based on the commission. They don't even know if it's mobile friendly. And what happens is when they start driving traffic, using solo ads majority of the traffic is going to be coming from mobile devices and if you don't select a mobile friendly page you're going to lose out you're going to not going to make any money whatsoever and then you're just going to get frustrated and give up that's what happens okay but remember one thing persistent is the key to success you need patience and you need to create a never giving up attitude if you never give up you are never going to fail okay so how do you know which page and which offer is mobile friendly you're going to see a mobile sign like here can you see this mobile sign here that mobile sign means that this is a mobile friendly page so whichever product you choose make sure it has this sign so you are making money okay so once you got your offer once you are ready to buy traffic you're just going to post your landing page url here but before you do that you need to track your click so i highly recommend use a tracking tool there are free tools as well there are paid tools as well i use click magic okay so if you're going to use click magic this is how you set it up you're just going to go to links okay and then you're going to click on create a new link. You're going to put anything. I'm just going to put testing here. I'm just going to put anything down here as well. All right. And then you're just going to put your landing page URL in here. Just put, paste it, create a link. All right. And once you have created your link, you're going to start getting traffic. So you could see total clicks. OK, unique clicks. All right. And fake clicks. These are all fake clicks and fake clicks. Now you're going to get approximately 15 to 20 fake clicks. That's normal. All right. But you shouldn't get more than that. If you get more than that, you need to take a screenshot and send it over to him. This is why I tell you to track your clicks. Now you could use any tracking tools. I use Click Magic. It comes with a free trial. The link is going to be in the description box below this video. So what you want to do, you just want to click on your tracking link. You want to copy this link here. OK. And you want to come back to Udemy and you're just going to paste it into this. And this is where you're going to get all your traffic. OK, that's how simple it is. So what happens? You're going to get up to 300 visitors. You're going to start receiving traffic from this guy. And then you're going to track your sales after the seven days of email follow ups have kicked in. OK, so you want to have seven days of email follow ups going out to your subscribers 
per offer. So you want to promote one offer for seven days, another offer for another seven days, another offer for one another seven days, one email per day. And after seven days, you're going to go into your affiliate network and see if you made any money. Now, even though if you didn't make any money, don't worry, because in the beginning, you are going to lose a bit of money. That's going to happen. That's part of business, okay? But don't worry. Once you start building a list and building subscribers, once you start growing your list, so you get up to 5,000, 10,000 subscribers, you're going to start making money from different angles. So you're going to make all that money back, okay? So in the beginning, if you lose a bit of money, just don't worry about that. Down here, the purpose is to build a list, not to make money. But still, we want to stay on the safe side to make sure that this guy's got a very good traffic. So what we want to do is we want to look for at least one sale. If you made one sale, even though we didn't break even, we we didn't make any profit we just made one sale then we're going to buy traffic again from this person and this time we're going to buy traffic of 500 visitors if we made money again then we're going to buy 750 visitors if we made money again then we're going to buy 1000 visitors and if we made money again then we're going to keep on buying until we make money okay if we didn't make money don't worry you haven't lost any money you haven't wasted any money like i said this is we're, we're focusing on list building. So what you want to do, you want to go back to find sellers and buy traffic again from another person. And this time you're going to buy again 300 visitors and then you're going to do go through the same criteria again what i just showed you if you still didn't make money on it again then you're going to buy traffic again the third time from a third person 300 visitors again if you still didn't make money again then now it's time to look into this why you're not making any money even though we're just looking for one sale we're not looking to make a profit we're not looking to break even like i said we're focusing on list building building a list building subscribers because we know that once we start growing our list we're going to make all that money back eventually so we don't need to worry about that but we just want to stay on the safe side, making sure that this guy's got buyer traffic. So what is it? What's going wrong? So we need to look into our open rates. First of all, we need to look in out into our opt-in rate. What's the, our opt-in rate? Okay, it has to be above 25%. If it's above 25%, what we need to do is go into our follow-up series and look into our open rate. Anything above 10% is good. Okay, in your first couple of emails, you should have above 20% open rate. Okay. But if it's above 10%, it's good. If it's below 10%, you need to change the titles, okay? Title plays a big game in your open rates, okay? If it's, everything is looking good, then you need to either, it's your mindset, okay? You don't have the right mindset, or it could be because the offer. So in that case, you just want to go to Clickbank and choose another offer. It might be the offer that's not good. And here's one, one recommendation. Before you promote any ClickBank offer, you could send you could send a message to this guy and say, hey, I'm willing to promote this offer. Is this offer being promoted by anyone in the last three weeks? If he says yes, then you want to stay away from that offer because if, if it's been promoted, then you're not going to get any sales or conversions most likely, okay? But if he says it hasn't been promoted or it's been promoted, but it's been over six weeks, then you might want to check uh, promote that offer yourself, okay? Now, before selecting an offer, you just don't want to look for the mobile sign you also want to put yourself in a newbie shoes and ask yourself if i was looking for a way to make money online and looking for training if this offer came across my eyes would i purchase the product if the answer is yes then that means it's a great fit for your customers if it's if the answer is no then you want to stay away from the offer for instance okay this offer down here this offer is all about ebook, how to create an ebook and how to make money. A lot of people don't resonate with this offer. Now, if you were in a, if I was in my newbie shoes and wanted to wait, looking for a way to make money online, and someone sent me this offer down here and I looked into the sales page, I would say no, because I'm not interested in creating an ebook. Okay. So if it's no for you as well, then that means your customers are not going to like the offer as well. So you don't want to promote that offer. Remember that that is a very important fact. Okay. If you made money, now, if you know what you're doing, then you could buy traffic from five, six different people simultaneously and drive traffic. Whichever one's making you money, keep that traffic, scale your business to the next level. Whichever one's not making you money, just put that onto the side, okay? But if you're just getting started with ClickBank and you're just a ClickBank beginner, then in that case, you always want to do one at a time. Do not drive traffic from two different sources at the same time. Otherwise, you're just going to give up. You're going to get frustrated. The whole point is never, ever give up. If you never give up, you're never going to fail. Okay.
Knowledge is the new currency in 2019. Now, what I wanna do right now is I wanna talk to you a little bit about traffic generation, traffic and conversions, right? So a lot of people ask me about traffic, like what's working now. We have been uh, teaching traffic for about a decade and there is a big problem right now in the industry, in the world of marketing and traffic generation. 63% of companies surveyed uh, say, but, and this is a survey coming from HubSpot and they're surveying and working with a lot of different businesses from different niches, different genres, 63% of those companies and businesses say traffic generation is their biggest problem and the biggest challenge in their company. Let me tell you why. Because there's a big problem when it comes to traffic generation. Pop on my screen here, let me show you what this problem is and I'll show you the solution for this problem. And if you pay attention, this might take you to a whole other level in your business. Check this out. Right now, today, everybody is teaching and regurgitating the same old, what's called platform dependency traffic strategy. What do I mean by this? Facebook advertising, right? Um, Instagram advertising, YouTube advertising. Basically, in other words, a platform dependency traffic getting uh, strategy. And, uh, and, and, there is a, and there is a problem with it. Let me tell you why. Because the traffic game has changed forever, okay? If you have not been familiar with what's been going on on Facebook ad platform over the past 24 months, let me fill you in on that a little bit right now. Look, over the past five years, right, Facebook has been the go-to place to get traffic for many companies and individuals. It has been one of the best sources of traffic, sales, and revenue for entrepreneurs and small businesses who knew how to run campaigns there. Well, not anymore. Over the past 18 months, Facebook's growth has slowed down a lot. In fact, here is an article from Business Insider published not too long ago, and they say Facebook's active user growth went into reverse for the first time ever, and the worst is yet to come. Here's another one from Mashable, and here's what Mashable is saying. Facebook's engagement is sinking with no end in sight, right? And you know what? It gets even worse. Let me show you this. The average time on site for each Facebook user has dropped by 24%. That is a massive problem for advertisers. Even though this decline is happening, more businesses have started to use the Facebook ad platform than ever before. That means that while, listen to me, while advertising demand is increasing, the number of opportunities for ads Facebook can show is getting smaller. This leads to one thing, rising ad costs. Okay? In fact, despite their decline in attention and growth, Facebook's ad revenue over the past 18 months is up by 42%. Because if you wanna show your ads to more people, more of their users, you have to pay them more money, right? Now, as a result, the average cost to acquire a customer in all major markets rose by over 400% in the last 18 months alone. That, my friend, can dis destroy any business if you don't adjust which is exactly what we have been doing for my company and teaching other people how to do the same thing. Look, it's not all bad news, right? There's also some good news about this. While most entrepreneurs and businesses who follow the what's called old model for traffic generation are struggling, those who adjust and implement the new model, and I'm gonna show you that in just a second, are experiencing record highs in traffic, leads, and sales. Here's the old model, it's called platform dependency. This is basically where people say, you know what, we're gonna just run ads and see what happens, right? And hope somebody's gonna buy. The new model is called data aggregation. And data aggregation, we focus on three things. Number one, we're gonna get traffic. Number two, we're gonna manage tra traffic. And then number three, we're gonna multiply traffic. Very methodically, very deliberately, very intentionally. And there is a method and a way for you to do that. This is what it looks like, I'm about to show it to you. Look, I wanna give you the result of this. So over the past 36 months, I've been running a secret experiment on this model. Let me show you what it's done for us, right? So I have uh, deployed uh, a campaign doing the polar opposite of what everybody else is doing out there uh, in the traffic generation, marketing and sales world, okay? And so instead of relying on any one platform, what I did it was I followed what's called data aggregation, this new traffic model that I've developed and now we teach this inside the Internet Traffic Academy. Anyway, here are the results. 17.5 million unique visitors, okay? That generated uh, 3.7 million leads. Can you imagine being able to talk to 3.7 million people? Can you imagine that? Just look at this picture, right? 3.7, that's a huge city. Three point, imagine being able to get your message out in front of 3.7 million people. It gets better. Now that crowd, right, produced for us in this particular campaign, 
uh, over 112,000 paid customers, okay, for over $12 million in revenue generated. Now, the big question is, is Vic, you probably spend a fortune to get these. Well, depending how you look at it, right? Um, let's do some math on it, right? So before we do the math, here is what it cost me for this particular campaign. Again, this is over 36 months. So on average, we were generating over 450,000 visitors every 30 days like clockwork, right, during this particular campaign. Now, it cost us over a million dollars, $1.2 million to, uh, to run this campaign. However, the return on that investment okay, has been 10 times, almost 10, like 9.85 or something like that. So it generated a net profit Okay, of over $10 million. Now, big numbers, and I don't want to scare you off of this thing. You know, you might be saying, well, Vic, I don't have a million to, to put into a traffic generation campaign, and I do not expect you to do that. I was not able to do that in the beginning, right? But let's do the math. Let me kind of break this down. Let's step back. Let me simplify this, and most importantly, show you what this can do for your business if you implement what's called data aggregation business model. It is mind-blowing, my friend. Check this out. Let's do the math on it, right? So it cost me, on average, seven cents to get a visitor. Let me ask you a question. Would you pay seven cents to acquire a visitor to your website, to your product, to your business, to your offer, to whatever it is that you're promoting? Could you do that? Of course, right? Now, I, I made on average for each one of those visitors, 69 cents. So I paid seven cents and I made 69 cents for every visitor, regardless if they opted in, regardless if they engaged with me or not, every single visitor was worth, was worth 69 cents to me, okay? So my average profit after expenses for each visitor was 62 cents. Now, this is a super scaled down version of that particular campaign so that, you know, everybody can wrap their head around this thing, right? So at the end of the day, here's what it did. It generated and produced almost 10 times return on my investment for this particular campaign. Now. I'm not gonna guarantee you that you're gonna get 10x, you know, ROI in your, um, you know, on whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know your business model. I don't know what you're promoting. I don't even know you, probably, right? However, here's what I can tell you. Imagine going to a magic money machine and you put in a dollar and you get ten dollars back every single time. The question is, is how many dollars would you put in? Okay. So, if you are interested. Okay, if you're watching this and if it perked your attention, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're selling anything on the internet, this should excite you and this should get your attention, right? Um, if you're interested, if you wanna know more about this new business model, how does this work, right? How, how do we go about setting this whole thing up? There's a process and I would love to teach you and show you this. Uh, go ahead and click on the link that's next to this ad wherever you're seeing this. I'm gonna take you to uh, a page where I give you, uh, I'm gonna put you through a training that I recorded where I explain in detail and I reveal and I pull back the curtain on this particular experiment and tell you exactly how I was able to do that. More importantly, how you can start following this new business model for traffic generation, okay? And crush it in whatever it is that you're doing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you at the training.